Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It's September 12th. This is part two. So, <clears throat> I just want to let you guys know how amazing you are. I want you to reflect back on the hell you've been through and see um, how you've come out of a situation that you thought for sure at the time was going to destroy you. you. I want you to recognize your strength. I mean, today really... This reading, yes, we got karmic energies that are upset, but it's mostly about your strength, your peace, your harmony, your balance within yourself and how it makes you untouchable. It, you guys are amazing. I want you to recognize how far you've come. Some of you are still doing your healing. For a lot of you, you've already healed not only from the past situation, a karmic connection, but you healed from your childhood trauma. You know, you moved forward in a way that was healthy and balanced. And you did it not only on your own, by yourself, with no support, but with all of these flying monkeys out here trying to um, shoot hate arrows, you know, sabotage and trying to destroy you. I mean, how strong are you? You're fierce. You're a warrior. You're amazing. You know, you have turned a really horrible situation in your favor by being so strong by pouring into your own cup by loving you doing that inner work so congratulations i know this the spiritual realm is very happy with you very pleased with you recognizing how much strength it took for you to overcome so many attacks from so many people you're amazing celebrate yourself all right, we're going to do another round. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So in the previous reading, if you haven't watched it, go back. Like I said, it's highlighting just how friggin' amazing you are, how strong you are, how you've mastered your emotion, your inner peace, your inner environment. We can see somebody's watching you. This is someone that's cold and detached that's trying to manifest you. Of course they are. All right, current situation. Yeah, this person wants to message you and play victim. They Be mindful. This person's going to use whatever forms of manipulation they can. They're going to try and message you and they're going to play victim. They were deceived. They were confused. They were lied to. I'll tell you right now, if you've been in a long-term relationship with someone and they heard something about you and they never came to the person that they were in a long-term relationship with to have a discussion to try to heal the situation instead believed lies, that's on them. That's on them. There was no connection. There was no solid foundation to begin with. Because no one that's invested in their relationship, that makes their relationship a priority, would believe anyone outside of the relationship. So there you go. All right. They're challenged because either you have a divine partner, which is creating stability, or you're stable on your own. This is someone that still holds on to you, and now they, they feel like they have all of this love for you. All right. Yeah, they're delusional. All right. What's the challenge? Challenge. They're challenged because you're taking a brand new leap of faith. You're not interested in whatever love that they have to express to you. You're not interested in the type of love that they offer. The type of love they offer puts you in a third party, um, attacks your uh, self-esteem, self-worth, um, is disrespectful and disloyal. So you're not interested in this person's version of love. No, thank you. This is a new beginning for you because you've done the work and you're, you're worthy of this new beginning. Uh, focus. Somebody's focused on how can they walk away from the situation they're in to move to, toward their wish, which is you. You are their wish. Focus. Wow, we just got a whole chunk. Yeah. You know, this person is experiencing a lot of chaos and conflict. This is justice. This is their karma, and they want to move away from it. They want to get away from it. You can't escape your karma. If you're listening, karmic... You cannot escape your karma. It will follow you no matter where you go until you have fulfilled your karmic debt. So running won't do anything. Going to another relationship won't do anything. 
you will go from karmic partner to karmic partner until your karmic debt is fulfilled. And if you continue to act in a way that is low vibrational, projecting at others, it will just continue to build more karma. All right. Past energy, you know, you went through a heartbreak, third party situation, but you had to learn to invest in yourself. You had to make this decision. You needed to invest in yourself. And this is how you found happiness. Pouring all that energy into you. That's how you found happiness. That's beautiful. All right. In your strength, uh, your strength is having victory despite this third party um, spreading lies and gossip and being in competition with you. You still had victory. And, it's, and I feel it's being seen. Who you are and who this third party is because this third party continues with these you know low vibrational uh tactics and it, you're not bothered you're unfazed by whatever this person's doing you're just living your best life and that's why it's a strength for you you don't have to do anything to impress anyone you're not trying to you're just being your true authentic self yeah and this third party's because you're winning, they're heartbroken going through a tower. Because like we said, in the near future, your, your wins, your gains, you receiving is causing defeat for this person. They're defeated because you're winning, you're receiving. You know, there's a lot of people talking about this third party. Um, they're talking about how you are following God. You're in, a, in alignment, you're high vibrational. And they're talking about this third party. All right. Please clarify near future. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors, near future. Please clarify near future. Please clarify, whoops, please clarify near future. Yeah, so... This Queen of Wands here, which I feel like is this um, Queen of Cups in reverse. This is someone that leads with sexual energy. They're flirty. They're insecure. They're jealous. They're going through a massive ending with the death to the Ten of Swords. Uh, deception, betrayal. A lot. This is a lot of stress, a lot of pain. That's what this third party is calling into their reality for the actions they're taking against you. They're also going to be exposed with the Ace of Swords for whatever um, toxic behavior they've been engaging in they're going to be exposed god's exposing this person all right in the advice they're saying stay focused on this loving energy a happy home happy life your internal happiness as well and then we can see that um they need you to set boundaries firm boundaries put your guard up when it comes to past people with the six of cups to the nine of wands advice Yeah, they want you to know that this third party is under judgment. They're under God's judgment. You don't have to do anything. They're going to be in regret for whatever actions they've taken against the collective. They're going to be in regret. In the environment, people are seeing this Queen of Cups in reverse, immature, jealous, insecure energy who's been spying and slandering, and they see this person's unhappy, that they have abandonment or rejection issues, or they're going through financial issues, and that they're spying on you. That Everyone in the environment knows it. Please clarify the environment. Yeah, they're saying that this person is a love bomber gaslighter and they're going to be abandoned or rejected or in financial ruin. That's what the environment is seeing. Basically, I feel like they're getting what they deserve. They're also seeing that you're speaking the truth. Queen of Swords, you have the sword of God's truth. You are speaking the truth. So... Whatever this feminine has been lying about the collective, it could be a masculine and feminine energy too. It's not gender. But whatever this feminine energy has been lying about the collective, the environment now knows that you have been speaking the truth all along, that this karmic feminine is a liar. They're a liar. So in the uh, hopes and fears, this karmic feminine and a masculine from your past is in fear because your wishes are coming true. You're moving on to peace. 
um, the blockage here is they did everything, lying, cheating, and stealing to try to block this from happening, and it did not work. Now your emperor is also going through a tower, a false leader, not a true emperor. They're also going through a tower. Um, hopes and fears, and this is a fear for them. They're afraid of this tower. Yeah, they're in regret. They're also afraid of the regret that they're going to experience when this tower hits. It could be hitting already for some of them. Potential outcome, this person, this emperor is exhausted. Uh, the blockage is they're in deep regret. You are this grounded, stable energy. Um, good karma is coming in. You're speaking your truth, cutting out what doesn't serve you, and you are this earth angel. Peace and harmony is being restored. Potential outcome. Temperance again. Temperance twice. Double confirmation. Divine intervention. Peace and harmony is coming in, and you are an earth angel. Okay? You are. And the earth angel energy goes through so much training, which includes a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of abandonment and rejection. Look at this. You're calling in your partner that's meant to co-create with you. The Eight of Pentacles to the King of Swords. Someone that operates in honesty, loyalty, and integrity is coming in that is going to uh, co-create with you. Now, I feel like this is a different energy than the person from the current situation. I feel like these are two different masculines because in the current situation, that king of swords is some, a false emperor from your past. But moving forward, this king of swords is honorable and loyal. They operate in integrity. That's what I feel. Intuitively, that's what I feel. Yeah, because I said, who is the king of swords and the potential outcome? They said divine love, real divine love. Yeah, it's real divine love that's coming in. So definitely a different person. Look, you are being elevated in the potential outcome. You are the healer. You are the star. You're the light worker. And you're being elevated financially. Things are going to start aligning for you. That's amazing. I love it. All right, let's see what else we get, guys. I think I'm just going to get some from this deck. Um, even though the karmic energy is here, they're just making you aware of what's going on. But you don't have to worry. Your strength is your own peace, harmony, and balance within yourself. And it's beautiful. So you guys are doing an amazing job. All right, current situation. Let's see, current situation. Somebody's out of time with the clock here. Time's up is what I feel. Is this cycle? Um, I feel like this is representing that time is up for whoever has been your past person is what I feel like. The time is up. This is the person that's been watching you. They've run out of time. They had plenty of time to do the right thing and they have not done it. So their time is up. The challenge is you're moving on. You're stable and you're moving on. You're not interested in distorted love. Yeah, boundaries are set. Not today. You're not dealing with this person anymore. That ship has sailed. Uh, the focus, somebody wants to get away from a situation and move towards you. They're experiencing karma and they want to get out of it, but you can't escape karma. You can't. Yeah, this person wants to chase you now. This is someone that needs to do shadow work. They have no self-worth. They don't love themselves. They couldn't possibly love anyone else. And that's what you're focused on, your happiness, your joy, you know, attracting someone that's in that same vibration. In the past, you went through a very painful heartbreak. Could have been third party. Um, you had to invest in yourself to find happiness because the person that you were connected to, they were only interested in partying, you know, doing what made them happy. They didn't care about your feelings. They didn't care about the pain they caused. They wore a mask. It's a very self-indulgent, very insecure masculine or feminine energy from your past. Um, in the strength, you're winning. And this is winning despite people trying to attack you, cyber bully you, slander you. And that's ending. That's why God's bringing in this tower to whoever has participated in this activity that's low vibrational. God's bringing an ending to it. Yeah, somebody you're separated from was also involved with a karmic. They
they worked with the karmic and the karmic's friends or their friends or their family and they're all going through an ending this is karma for sure um near future somebody feels defeated because you're winning you're following god you're in your power and this person um this feminine energy who could be the third party which i feel like it is they're going through an ending very painful deception betrayal feeling trapped stressed a lot of anguish near future yeah and somebody wants to meet up with you but you've cut ties you're not interested in meeting up with anyone from the past you're too grounded you're too stable that's what this reading is about how stable you are all right um any advice i said focus on that love that ten of cups whether it's internal love that peaceful environment within yourself or outside of you happy home happy life and a committed union um set boundaries with the past because they're saying that your past person and a third party are both they're under judgment god's judgment please clarify advice yeah they said this person um they're interested in you they want to return of course but you've made healthy choices with self-love self-care you're being happier this is you choosing yourself from the past and that's what you're doing now that's what they want you to continue to do because this person is wearing a mask they still are not their true authentic self they still have not healed um in the environment people can see this person from from the past the third party is an emotional manipulator she likes to spread lies she likes to gossip she's unhappy she's going to be abandoned or rejected she's been spying on you they see that she's non-committal a love bomber and uh she's going to be abandoned now we got twin flames this could be someone from your past that was a twin flame to you or a false twin flame Yeah, and this person, by discarding you and choosing another, they've blocked their own abundance. And it's being seen in the environment. That this person's um, financial safety, security, has gone downhill since they walked away from you. In the um, hopes and fears, someone's afraid your wishes are coming true, you're moving on to peace, despite them trying to cheat, lie, and steal. To block this, this false emperor is going through a tower. They're going to be in regret hopes and fears yeah this shock this is the tower in reverse this person has done everything to try to avoid this tower and they cannot comes from the universe yeah they're not going to be able to escape it with the rising phoenix in reverse this is like the tower and the rising phoenix in reverse they cannot get out of this situation they will not rise above it they will not overcome it they have to go through it that's plain and simple they have to go through it yep they got to go through this this transformation the butterfly potential outcome this person from your past was is exhausted feeling sick you're grounded you're stable you're speaking your truth uh, peace and harmony divine intervention you are this earth angel you see, i see a divine partner coming in that's meant to co-create this is divine love and you are being elevated potential outcome potential outcome yeah, and this person thinking that they can come in and seduce you away from a divine partner. They're going to be, they're going to face uh, the end, death. If they try to come in with this energy, they're going to create endings in their own life. You're not interested. There's nothing about this person that you're interested in. Yeah, yes, they're pulling on your energy, looking at your pictures, but it's a narcissist. It's definitely a narcissist. So that's why they're saying set heavy boundaries. You are stable within yourself. You are really focused on uh, keeping that peaceful, harmonious state about you. And um, this person just wants to come in and sabotage you. You know, this person's too wounded, too broken, and um, too stupid to do their healing. And I'm sorry for saying that, but that's what I just heard in my head. So this person, they make free will choice to continue to be in that devil energy, dark, low vibrational energy. That's on them. But that doesn't mean you have to accept them in your life. And I know you guys do not want this person. And if you do, this reading's not for you. It's definitely not for you. So, all right, let's see what else we need to know. Let's just get a couple. 
from the Romance Oracle. And then we'll end this reading for the collective. Whoops, sorry, Lance. Sorry, Lance. What does the collective need to be aware of? For the collective, Holy Spirit. For the collective. Look, we got heart to heart conversation. Your past person wants to have a heart to heart conversation, and we got make the effort in reverse. Spirit is saying, don't make the effort. You already get given enough time, attention, and energy to that person. Your love life is being affected by children, but that came in reverse. So if you have children, maybe this person in your past said no one will date you, no one will connect with you because you have children. It's, it's not true. It's not going to be a factor in your love life. Pay attention to the red flags with this person from the past. Yeah. See, this is a past life karmic relationship. This person did the same BS in a past life and you didn't close the cycle out. So you incarnated in this life to finish the job. And that's what you did. Congratulations. This person wants to reconcile. The divine is saying you need to love yourself first. This person is not going to add any positive to your life. They're not because they haven't even done any healing work. They're still stuck in their dark, low vibrational ways. We don't have time for that. We don't have time. We're not your mama, okay? If you need, if you have a mother wound, then go heal that mother wound. Yeah, this person likes to use chem, uh, chemistry, you know, to, um, you know, that attraction to lure people in. But this person, they're not on the same page with your beliefs, religious factors. They don't align with you. I feel like whoever this person is, they couldn't possibly know God. Because to know God would prevent them from doing these evil, vile things. They apparently have no relationship with God. None. Whoops. Yeah, you've forgiven and you've learned from that experience and you're just moving on. You want new love. You're focused on new love. You're not focused on being anyone's mother, trying to teach anyone. Yeah, let go of control issues. I think you let go of a controlling person. But you are keeping an open mind when it comes to new love. You're willing to let people, you know, prove that, that they're worthy. Hold on, guys. I dropped one. Okay. Yeah. You're placing your trust in the divine when it comes to love and romance. Yeah, so you have freed yourself from this person that's nothing but a flirt. They love to get attention from other people. They're codependent. You have just freed yourself. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. All right, guys, this is your second reading. You're doing an amazing job. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I have a couple appointments available this week. Then I'll be scheduling for next week, so schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. Um, um, you can find all of my links in the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. <laughs> I got to show you. This was in the box. I left it in the box. Release your ex. Um, you have a new partner that's coming in. This ex is a deceiver and they use passion to lure people in, which is validation from what already came out. So I had to share that. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.